ready and god bless so i am going to record two dreams in this video because they both were very similar so the first one i had was i was cleaning my tub and in the dream i had a knowing that i went the way that i had cleaned it what i used is i used the i think it's called kaboom if it's not called i'm, I'm still gonna, i'm just gonna put a picture of her so you can see what i'm talking about but it's a spray and i sp and you spray it and it turns on as blue and then it turns white and in the dream i had a knowing that doing that did work it did get it very very well clean to the naked eye so it looked very clean and i was told that um using the toothbrush like I did everything was great because um I used to not use a toothbrush and the dream was just telling me like yes doing that really to change something in my cleaning routine but I was also told to take um crud cutter and put crud cutter to spray that around the edges of the tub so when I mean by the edges of the tub I mean the part where the wall and the tub connect and to spray it there and to wait 10 minutes i was told that in the dream wait 10 minutes and then take a toothbrush and scrub it clean and i had a knowing that even after i did that i still would not see the dirt because this is dirt that is so small this is, the naked eye cannot see it so i had a knowing that it was going to clean and i had a knowing i was not going to be able to see it um granted when i sprayed it something blue did come out but it wasn't that dirty until i took the paper towel because i was like wow this didn't really do anything but i believe in my dream i believe in it so i believe it did some i took a paper towel white paper towel and then when i wiped it that's when i saw the dirt and i was like wow that's so crazy so that was the end of that dream all right so in the next dream that i had had it was me and this girl that i knew we shared a bathroom together and i in a dream i was calling her my sister and honestly she looked like my sister and her and i were like like she was mad at me and i was just mad at the fact that she was mad at me so and she was mad at me because there was this guy that I guess we were both fighting over. And the reason why I say I called her my sister is because like in real life, my sister and I are 10 years apart. Like that would never happen. But okay. Um, so, but in the dream, I had a knowing that this guy was mine. Like him and I were together. And she was like really, really upset about at me about it. And then... It got so bad like I had a knowing we were sisters and we, it got so bad we couldn't even talk to each other and like that and as I had went into the bathroom and I had a knowing that we shared the bathroom together and it actually looked exactly like our bathroom in real life and we do share a bathroom together and when I went in there I was just minding my business and I looked down and there was this bug that was I might be exaggerating a little bit but it was like this like I don't like bugs but, but it was like this big and it had pinchers on the front of it and it was like a red orange red color and it was crawling towards like to leave and it freaked me out and i was like oh my goodness i was like i don't even know what to kill that with because it was like thick it was thick and huge i was like i don't even know what to, like i'm not gonna step on it but like i need to because it's it's just it it's gotta die like it's not okay and so then i had I think it disappeared or something had happened. I looked away. I don't know. And then I looked back down and all of a sudden the floor was covered, covered in bugs. It was so disgusting. And they were different kinds like ants, roly polies, like different kinds of just insects all over the place. And they were all black. And I started stumping a lot to try and scare them away. And it did work. They went all to the edge. And then I got to some diatomestrous earth. And I took the diatomaceous earth and I just threw it everywhere, all over the floor. And I mean, there was heaps of diatomaceous earth that I just threw everywhere because I had a knowing this was going to keep away the bugs. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm sharing a bathroom with my sister. So I have to tell her that I have diatomaceous earth all in her sink, all on her side. And I need to let her know not to wash it off. Like this needs to stay on the, on the floor for a while. Then I was thinking to myself and I said our anger is so bad i can't even talk to her about this and i said to myself i said i don't even care like i'm going to just go to her i'm going to grab her hands 
both hands, kneel down to the ground, look at her eye to eye and just apologize to her. And I was like, I don't even know what I did. Cause like, like I said, in a dream, the guy was mine. Like I felt genuinely felt in a dream. Like I was at no fault. And I was like, you know what? I don't even know what I did. I'm just going to go down and I'm going to apologize to her and just, you know, just say I'm sorry for whatever I did. I'm not going to expect her to apologize to me. I'm not going to be mad at her for not apologizing to me. I'm just going to apologize. I'm just going to let that out. And I had a knowing in the dream that this was going to get rid of the bugs. So that was the end of the dream. Now, the reason why I'm putting this together with the um, tub dream, because it was also a cleaning dream. So physically, dial to mesh with earth helps. But spiritually bugs represent bail so spiritually it was saying that apologizing and i like i um i made a video right before this talking about how i went over my old videos and there was a video i talked about how i wrote letters out to people about telling them that i'm sorry and it was not like i was asking for forgiveness i was just apologizing and i wasn't i wasn't i didn't have any um excuses i was just apologizing okay and so i believe this dream was like confirmation to like what i did was okay and then also to do it now like to just apologize and i'll link that down in below because i really explain why it's important to apologize and i also explain why it was imp more important to write it down now in my dream i got to my hands and knees and i looked her dead in the face so i think that's like the same like what i was saying in the in, not the dream but in the video before when i was talking about asking for forgiveness i was talking about writing it down is very hard especially when you send it out in mail because you can't get that back so please go and watch that so you can that that goes in more depth about that but getting down hand in hand holding someone's hand and locking your eyes with them first of all that is so hard I have done that in person I have done that before I've gotten hand hand down and actually I did it to my sister I um held her hands and I apologized to her about just just stuff like I, I prayed to God I said God I don't literally like this dream was like adding up because in real life I didn't know what to apologize to my sister for. I just felt in my spirit I need to apologize to her. So I just went to her in real life and I grabbed her hands and I went down and I apologized to her. Um, and I just, I prayed to God before I did and I was like, God, lead me and tell me what to say. And he led me and told me what to say because I didn't think about it before at all. And I do recommend that too. Just go to people, even if you feel like you are not at fault at all and just be like, I'm sorry for anything I've done. Because like, you know, we're, like we make mistakes okay so you may or may not have hurt somebody and and you you just it's just good to let that out because it automatically humbles you and it automatically makes you admit things that you were holding in and you're letting it go and you're like i am sorry and it also helps too because like you're not only just apologizing to that person you're also apologizing to god so like when i after i was done apologizing to her it's just like you know i'm, I'm being truthful so if i'm genuinely sorry about this like and i asked god to lead me to tell me what to say i do believe that i was also apologizing to god so it's like another way of repentance right so that is the spiritual way and i do believe that it was showing spiritually how to get rid of bell um so if you are seeing bugs or anything like that um i do recommend doing that so just a recap the first dream i had was about using crud cutter in 10 minutes and honestly that's for anything like anything you spray cut or cutter on use it for 10 minutes leave it on there for 10 minutes and then clean it up if you leave it on there too long it will I think it'll make whatever you're trying to clean up worse i think i can't remember but yeah um but this dream was telling me 10 minutes it was awesome and it really cleans up and my dream was telling me it cleans up what you cannot see um on the surface and then sounds like charity's coming in hi baby hi bye-bye okay. All right, so yeah, crud cutter. And then, okay, dial to mesh with earth physically. So physically get rid of bugs um, is really, really great. And then also for your body is really great. Um, And then spiritually to apologize and to let go, to humble yourself and apologize to people. Even if you feel like you didn't do anything wrong, just apologize, all right? So God bless you all. Have a nice day.